What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is TC Stefani and before I even start or say anything, I just wanted to send my love, my energy, my positivity, and my optimism to everyone that is dealing with the coronavirus or anyone that is affected by it. I think now more than ever, we need to live by faith and not fear. That is something that I have been working on. That's the energy and the mindset that I am trying to embody and that I have been putting out to the universe these last couple weeks especially. Um, I've just been choosing personally faith over fear and it seems to have worked for me it is really keeping my energy up and my passion up and I really just want to send out my love and my prayers to anyone that is severely affected by this coronavirus pandemic um, with that being said that brings me to today's topic which is controlling our belief systems or really controlling our mindset it's said that we have over 75,000 thoughts per day and 91% of those thoughts are same as yesterday's thoughts so with that being said uh, you know, the coronavirus has really affected us beginning 2020. Um, really here in the U.S., I've seen it in the month of March, the last two to three weeks. It's really become such a big issue and a big deal. You see it affecting grocery stores, small businesses, restaurants, etc. And I see a lot of people living with fear. You know, I see a lot of people, uh, of course, you want to take precautions and you want to be able to have food and, and shelter for your family. And that's just the necessities. That's a given. But I see a lot of people going above and beyond to really act from a selfish state of mind. You know, you see a lot of, you hear it on the news, right? You see a lot of people going to Walmart or going to CVS, or whatever it may be, going to their grocery stores, their local grocery stores, and stocking up on toilet paper, napkins, food, meat, and they're just really buying out the whole store. And I know that it's going to be restocked and whatnot, but it really comes from a selfish state of mind where you have to supply yourself first before helping other people because when you think about it when you're hoarding up on those products you're leaving less for the community out there so in a way you're contributing to the problem with that fear-based mindset and that's where it starts that fear that mentality of yourself of your internal dialogue telling yourself that you know oh, I need to go out here I need to take this precaution I need to hoard up on on toilet paper I need to get all this meat and this chicken and then you leave none for any, everyone else and that really creates a different problem. You're gonna leave people um, that are hungry, people that aren't gonna eat, they're not gonna be able to feed their children, not gonna be able to feed themselves, they're not gonna be able to feed their pets. And that's truly a horrible place to live. Um, and that really stems from a place of fear. And so that brings me back to embodying a mindset of positivity. And when I talk about mindset, um, it's really something that I truly have to focus on personally on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and it stems from asking yourself powerful questions like, what are my core beliefs? What is my identity? What do I believe to be true about myself? How can I improve from this area? What can I do better tomorrow? And those questions don't really have to deal with the coronavirus and that's not what I'm trying to make this video about. Again, I just want to send my love out there to people that are dealing with it. But I think it's the, the really powerful questions that we have to ask ourselves on a day-to-day -day basis, excuse me, whether we're dealing with um, a pandemic, or whether we're dealing with health issues, whatever it may be, I think it's important to ask ourselves these questions because then we can get to the core of where our mindset is truly coming from. So I'm gonna bring it back to internal dialogue and again, the questions are gonna dictate how you speak to yourself inside of your mind. And remember, there's power in language, internal and external. Whatever you put out to the universe, you will get back. So you have to ask yourself, is your internal dialogue reinforcing the belief systems that you want? Are you radiating positivity, love, and faith in your life? Or are you living by fear and judgment and anger? And again, that stems from internal dialogue, how you're talking to yourself. And to back that up, it comes from the questions that you're asking yourself. So really, you have to focus on what is it that I'm saying to myself that's reinforcing these beliefs? And what kind of beliefs do I want to have? Now, it's not easy, per se, to change these belief systems because we've developed them over time. For myself, I'm 20 years old, and uh, I've developed certain patterns and certain beliefs about myself that I've had to change because a lot of them were negative in the past. A lot of them were um, coming from a state of depression or anger or they were fear-based. And now I'm starting to make the shift to a more positive perspective, a more faith-based perspective. And I'm really seeing that shift in my energy and in my mindset and what I really want from my life. I'm really starting to question what I'm here for, what is my purpose. And again, those are great questions to ask yourself to really 
um, step you forward into a place of where you want to be. And it's so important to focus on what you do want and not what you don't want. Because again, that will be attracted to you. Whatever you put out to the universe will then come back to you. So if you're constantly focusing on, like I said, having that fear-based mindset, if you're constantly focusing on what you lack or what you're not given or what's been taken away from you, such as, you know, the car that you drive, if you're constantly comparing yourself to the dude that's driving the Ferrari and you're in a Honda Civic, you have to then analyze that mindset and see where that's coming from. And if that's truly a place that you want to live from, then go ahead. That's fine by me, fine by you, go for it. But if that's not the place that you want to live from, then you have to analyze and ask yourself those powerful questions. You have to then come to a place where you have to analyze that mindset and see if you're really truly living by uh, the standards that you set for yourself. And again, it's going to take time. You know, we've developed these systems these belief systems over a period of time. For me, I was stuck in this place for quite a few years and I know that it's gonna take um, another couple of years to get me fully out of that place and, tr and to transition into the man that I truly want to be. And I've been doing that, taking steps day by day and I feel the energy and I want you guys to feel the energy too and that's why I'm bringing this video to you guys. So to give you guys kind of a practical tip on how to change that internal dialogue and of course it's going to stem internally hence internal dialogue so it's going to always come from inside of you. You have to work inside out. A lot of pro a lot of people make the mistake of trying to fix the outside first thinking it's then going to fix the inside and that's where you create um, false happiness, a false sense of happiness, right? You always go for the car or go for the big house, you know, you go for the, the good looking girl, the good looking guy, and you think that's going to bring you happiness. But instead, you have to focus on inside out. You have to focus on what's going to give you that drive or that purpose or that passion or that love from inside of you. And then once you are full of that, you can then radiate out into other people and into other projects, which will then ultimately bring back more love and more things that you do want. And it's kind of a reoccurring cycle, but you can see that cycle through negative aspects too. If you're living that fear-based mindset, always comparing yourself, always judging yourself, always judging others, you're constantly going to be fed these, these, um, these actions or these circumstances in life. You know, you're, you're constantly going to see bad things happen to you. Your car's going to break down. Your, um, your check's not going to come in the mail. You know, th small things like that. When you live from that fear-based mindset, you're going to see those things recurring and manifesting in your life. Whereas when you live from that positive uh, faith-based mindset, you're going to see things like, you know, more money coming into you, better relationships, uh, a better body. And of course, you have to take action in these things, but it all starts with the internal dialogue and the internal mindset that you're going to have that's going to inspire you to go then then go take those actions. So we have to remember that changing our environment and our associations is so huge in breaking that comfort zone and breaking that comfort level and it's going to break the patterns that we already have. So changing your environment and changing your associations like the people that you hang the people that you hang around, your friends, your, your uh, associates, your business associates, your spiritual friends, your party friends, whatever it may be, you really have to analyze those people in your life and see how they're contributing to where you want to be in your life. And ultimately, if they're not, you have to ask yourself the hard question, do I want to let it go? And that brings you to, this, to the decision, to the choice of what do I want from my life? And again, that reinforces the powerful questions that you have to ask yourself. And so I thought I'd just bring you guys this quick little video. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I am really developing this content strategy. Um, one of my coach friends, um, she's really helping me out. Uh, in this area and it's really exciting for me and I'm really starting to feel passionate about it again and I just I just want to be real with you guys I'm real on my Instagram on TikTok, on Facebook and I'm really starting up um, you know posting content again and and it feels really good so I'm sorry I apologize to any of the people that are listening to this or that have been watching me or that have watched me in the past if you have been wondering where I'm at I have been growing I really, that's where I've been at and that's where I'm currently at and that's where I hope I see myself in the future. I constantly want to be growing, I constantly want to be evolving and again, that comes from the internal dialogue and the mindset that you have. So before I go, I want to leave you guys with some key takeaways from today's video. Number one would be there's power in language, internal and external. Whatever you put out to the universe will come back to you. Our belief systems are key to our mindset and those belief systems, the way we want to change them 
is by asking ourselves powerful questions. And it's gonna change the way we look at ourselves, change the way we view ourselves, and hopefully propel us into a better state of mind. Um, it's gonna propel us into a state of love, into a state of passion, into a state of purpose, which ultimately, I think, is where we all want to live. And lastly, focus on your obsessions. There's a saying that your obsessions become your possessions. And so you always wanna focus constantly on what you do want rather than what you don't want. Again, you're always given that choice. You're always given a choice to think. Like I said, we have 75,000 thoughts per day. What do you want those thoughts to be? What do you want those thoughts to focus on? Positive things or negative things? Things that you want, things that you don't want. Things that you want to contribute to society, things that you don't want to contribute to society. Sorry, I was rambling there. But still, you really have to focus on what you do want rather than what you do not want because you will then attract that and manifest it into your life and you will constantly see it. Whether you're consciously aware of it or not, it will be manifested into your life. So take control of your thoughts, change your belief systems, ask yourself powerful questions, and obsess over what you do want rather than what you do not want. That's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. If you like my content, if you'd like to hear more, please subscribe, drop a comment down below, and I will see you guys next time.